<laughs> okay, that's that's really funny. That, I mean, that's uh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> but um, I'm really sorry. I've always wanted to ask this question. Okay. I'm curious. Like, who's your man? <laughs> Are you in love? What does it look like? What His does it do? name is Ekene, and yes, I am in love. He he is hardly around because he is always having to travel. He's always um, monitoring his father's businesses, and that that makes him travel a lot. But do I miss him? Yes. Well, you know. We're two of a kind. My woman, Princess Kira. Too bad she never has time for me. She's always manipulated by her father's decision. And, um, yeah, it's, it's crazy. You know, sometimes uh, you want something so bad and... Um, he doesn't come the way you want it to come, so yeah. Say no more. I can absolutely relate. I mean, Ekene will hardly finish a sentence without bringing in his father's name or his father's business into whatever topic that we were talking about. Right. Okay. But is he a good man? Yes, he's a good man. Is he? Good. <laughs> Father, I must tell you the truth at once. This oppression has to stop. You must allow me to marry the man I love, not the one you want for me. My daughter, can it be? He's a very wealthy prince. And the father is a very good friend of mine. Marry him. You will not regret it. And let me promise you something. Straight up. If I don't marry Ogudiniro, who I am in love with, I would rather remain a marriage forever. Forever. If I do not allow her to marry the man of her choice, she may end up running away from the kingdom to meet with him. Yes. And that will be so demeaning to this royal family.
are you screaming? <laughs> Tell me we didn't do it. We, we didn't do anything. Why are you screaming like an ambulance? Wow, wow, wow. What's wrong? <laughs> what the fuck happened here? Oh. We just had a... We were really fast about it. What? Uh, come on, we're... We didn't last long, it was a quickie. We just... What? Wait, wait, is that how you scream when you have sex? <laughs> What's all that? That's how you that's how you scream, like for real. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> wait, like, that's how you scream? Wow. You were screaming like an ambulance. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> That was a joke, I'm serious, nothing happened. Oh my god. Oh my god. But then, why the hell am I wearing your shirt? I woke up in your room, on your bed, and then I don't even have my bra on. Hey, Mr. Goodnil, you better start talking. What the hell happened here? Asamta, I am not a pervert, okay? I can't take advantage of your drunken state. I'm a responsible man. I was drunk? Besides, you were completely drunk last night. You literally couldn't walk. So I had to make you sleep in my room. Yeah. You were drunk too? So how am I sure you didn't get carried away? Well, I... I had a little sip, but I didn't touch you. Even if I did, I mean, that would have been part of the extracurricular fiancé activity. I am you. not your fiancé. Well, unofficially you are. Morning. Morning. Where are you going this morning without doing anything? Hey, Mama. Yeah? I have an important message I have to deliver. I'm coming. When I'm back, I'll help you do all these things. Mm. <laughs> yes, Mama. Back also. I'm coming, Mama. Listen. Are you having a hangover? Do you want some water to drink? I just want to get off this cloth. It's very uncomfortable. Listen, wait, 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 listen. Like I said, last night, you were so drunk that you made a mess of yourself. So I had to take off your clothes, take them to the laundry room. So if you want to change, you'll have to go to your room. And stop looking at me. Huh? Get your eyes off me. I want to go.
she was that? She was what's the plan to meet here? Oh holy sir, what is wrong with that? Uh we'll find out. Mother, you sent for me. Mother, you sent for me. Your daughter, Princess Kyra, has threatened to leave the palace if you do not allow her to marry Prince Ogudiniru of her Ninri kingdom. Mother, I can't believe that I left my royal duties to come discussing this. Mother, this is a family matter. I must be treated as one. If I had come to the palace, I would talk to you as a king while you sit on your throne. But I invited you here to talk to you as Tabansi Udene, my own son. So you must listen. Mother, if Kiria, my daughter, do not marry Ogudiniru, he stands the chance of losing the throne. And that will stand as a deterrent to others. It will be a recompense for what their forefathers did to my own forefathers. And I am representing. If you cannot handle this, you will be a failure that could not handle his family. This thing you call protecting your own is cowardice. Mother! Allow that girl to marry the man of her choice. Ake Grunwata. Mother.
stop worrying. If it's destined for you and Prince or with you to be together, it will definitely happen. What is wrong with you? Why would you just buy into the princess's room like that? Now, what is it? My princess, forgive me, but I, I think there is a problem. That is what has come over you. Ambition is good. Dreams, wonderful. But you don't have to attain your dreams through dubious and diabolic means. No! My face cannot behold your sight any longer. From this day, you are banished from my kingdom. Take this circus monkey out of my sight. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please, you please help me, kill me. Please help me, kill me. I told you, I told you this girl was up to something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this place is beautiful. Yeah, it sure is. You know, I used to bring Kira here but she never seemed to like it. Well, I wish I had someone that would bring me to this kind of place every day. It's serene. You know, this is where I compose most of my poems. Oh. Each time I come here every morning, the bird's redeeming sound creates some type of inspiration around me. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. So go ahead. Recite some for me. Go on. <sighs> okay. She has a special way of turning things around. She makes all the bad things go away. When I look into her eyes, I see beauty. I see love's obscurity in disguise. And sometimes, I know what I feel is real. And sometimes, I also wish she can see how much my heart 
my love for her grew. And sometimes, I wish we can start up something new for her to know that what I feel in my heart is true. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, let me do mine. No. Don't laugh. No, it's okay. Uh, I couldn't find the right words. Nothing seemed to rhyme. To construct you and eulogy would take time. So I'll tell you what I have to say exactly the way I feel just to show you that I appreciate you for being there every day. I wish I could list a lot of other things, but it's just not possible to list it all out. You need to stop. Why? Because you make me feel tender. I am not comfortable. I sometimes know your time of the deal is up. But I can't let you go. I just can't let you go. going to see. Oh, is that you? It is me. I'm the one. Oh, hey, you're welcome. Oh, damn! I came <laughs> to see the prince um, and his uh, bride to be. Where are they? They are not at the palace at the moment. Mm. Yes, you know the prince is fond of her. Oh, where? So he has gone to stay with her, where he usually have his quiet time. Hey. <laughs> This is my second time of coming to see the bride to be. Uh -oh. um, most time, every time, one thing or the other will hinder it. And I've told uh, Okudunero to bring her for me to see. And he has not. Don't worry. Since you have told me, eh, I will make sure he brings her. Okay. Now that I have known. Oh? And so why do you... Don't be angry. No, no, you're looking very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Uh, I can see good. you are enjoying yourself. I should. I should. Please let sit. Let me get something to drink. Oh. Just relax yourself. I want to go and take my evening uh, quail. Eh? Uh, what is how continue? we enjoy ourselves. No problem. Let me continue with my practice. Oh, one of them. <laughs> oh God, no, no, stop it. <laughs> stop it, you're making me laugh too hard. <laughs> what? It's funny. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. What? I didn't hear that. <laughs> I 
No, I did not hear that. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> okay, let's stop it. <laughs> stop it! <laughs> Tonight? How is that even possible? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And after that. <laughs> what happens after that? Please drink water. Yes, baby. I'm listening. <laughs> go on. I'm gone. Please go inside and drink some water. Say it again. Yes. <laughs> I swear I'm not ready for this. <laughs> God, what, what is this? Uh, what, what is this? I can't stop it. <laughs> stop it. I like it. <laughs> Something? Mother. You mean you're going to leave me here again all alone? Not for too long, Mom. She's back next week. Sometimes I'm going to miss you. Please, I beg you. Do not hesitate to come back. You know he's boring here alone. I'll be back shortly. But till then, Ogudinere will keep you company. That one? He's hardly home. You just leave me here and go to his business. Well, he promised to be with you this time. And he promised to cook me a little soup. Mother, I will when I come back. When are you going to come back? Soon. Very soon. I'm going to miss you. I know. I miss you too. My daughter's happiness is paramount to me. I know you've not been yourself for quite some time now. Father, you took away my happiness. The moment you refused to allow me, be with the man I love. And I am here to bring back your happiness. If you are sure you love Prince Okudini, the Prince of Anyaru Kingdom, Bring him to me, and I will bless both of you. From today, I declare that the enmity between the people of and the kingdom and my kingdom, Uruwezani, is settled because of you and Prince of Godinero. And it is permanent. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you. I love you. I love you, my daughter. I love you so much. Thank you, Father. Does this mean I can now, I'm free to go to Aniri to see Prince of Godinero? Anytime. And then it
many weeks have passed. But she has not returned. What is happening? What is going on? She promised she was going to come back. But why, why hasn't she come? Did she quarrel with my son? Santa has not come back again. What is the problem? Um, mother, there's no problem. I, I'm sure she, 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 she will come. I have the premonition that something will go wrong. And it's certainly becoming clear. Premonition? Yes. Mother. Nothing will go wrong. Everything is fine. I can smell a female presence. Who is here with you? No one. I'm a female presence. I'm the only one here. Mother, I'm right here beside you. There's no one here. It's me. And your voice gives you out. Kings do not lie. And he just lied. But, um, mother, why don't you go in and get some rest? I promise to bring Asanta here tomorrow to see you. Please do, my son. Really, Mr. Please. Do, my son. I'm Mr. For God's sake, Obudini, we can't continue like this. Kira, I understand how you feel, but we need to find a way to re-establish you into her heart. Yes, I think it's high time we started changing the name. My name is Kiria, not Asumta or whatever. That's okay, I'll sort it out. I will. <sighs> it's okay, it's all, it's all right, okay? She has changed. Why did she change? What did I do wrong? Why? What did I do to have made her change? Oh. 
Hmm. Oh, even her voice changed. Sorry. People think I'm foolish because I'm blind. I'm only blind. I'm not foolish. You are not a sumter. You can never be a sumter. Wicked girl. Wicked. A sumter is kind of mean. You? You're so wicked. You're so mean. She has completely changed. Asamta is not the same person you brought here the last time. Mom, she's the same person, all right? She's the same person. She, she didn't change. Find out what happened to her when she traveled. She doesn't help me in the kitchen anymore. She doesn't play with me anymore. She has completely changed. Mom, come on. Maybe she's tired. Have you thought about that? Huh? Have you? You know what? I'm just going to talk to her. That's no, all. No, maybe, maybe something is bothering her. Find out what that thing is so that we know how to handle it. I'll sort it out, okay? I promise. I'll sort it out. Hogdeniru, did she see you with a woman? Maybe she, think, she thinks you're probably cheating on her. Oh, herself. mom! Come on! Calm down! You're yelling at me. No, I'm not. Oh, Jesus. I'm saying this because I, I am very uncomfortable. Mom, it, listen to me. I. It, even her voice changed. Mom, I, I just said I promised to sort everything out. You don't have to keep talking about it every time, okay? Listen, you know what? I'll, I'll just, I have something to do. I didn't marry love, oh, had man, oh. I'm sorry. 
Coming is unannounced. Azubike, there's a problem. My mother is beginning to find out Kira isn't a Sumter. Well, there couldn't have been a way she wouldn't find out. So what do we do? You remember those chores that Azomta does for and with your mother? Princess Kira should start from where she stopped. I think that's a good idea. Don't worry. I want you to listen to me. I am not trying to enslave you. I am not going to do that. I will never do that. All I ask is, kindly do those chores she used to do when she was here. At the end of the day, I am only trying to convince my mother. Abudiniru, don't you get it? <laughs> listen, I can't do any of those things you are asking me to do. Okay, fine. I know how to cook, but I can't because in my father's house, we have maids and guards who do those house chores, all right? And as for your mother's boring game, I'm sorry, I don't know how to play it. I mean, how can that even be better than what we have right now on social media? Kira, I honestly do understand how you feel, but please, we must find ways for you to learn those house chores. Like I said, at the end of the day, I'm only trying to convince my mother. My throne has stayed, come me. No, 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 Listen to yourself. Isn't it obvious that you're in love with her? Even when your tone and your face gives you out. I'm getting married, Kira. How can you be in love with someone and make marriage plans with another? You're not under any obligation. I'm sorry, bro. I already made my intentions known to her family with my kinsman. That is the same way you can change your mind and make plans with the woman you truly love. <laughs> the date is fixed already. I'm getting married to Kira. Listen, fixing a date is not enough reasons. Even your uncle Chiokwonyo will tell you that there is more to marriage than what you think. Listen. It is better to break an engagement than to suffer in marriage. Hmm? Follow your heart and tell her sometime you truly love her. Hmm? Yes. That's my prayer. Hmm? Yes. Um, a good meal, my son. I have just two questions for you. Why did you wait for this moment to tell me this? And why did you take us to Ruezan in the first place? Uncle, mm -hmm. 
With due respect, I'm not here to apportion blames. The truth is, I was desperate to save the throne. Okay. Besides, I was trying to calm pressure from home, which was why I agreed with Kira to allow Asomta standing for her. Um, this situation is a bit dicey. But I will advise we must go on with the marriage plans. Because this marriage will bring peace and harmony between Uruwezan and the Anini. Uncle. Hmm? Will the marriage equally bring peace to my home? I've lost him. I've lost my dreams. My prince is eventually getting married to the princess. It's okay. You need to calm down and move on. There is nothing more heartbreaking than loving someone. Uh, and having the courage to declare your love for that person. That's your fault. You should have told the prince how you feel about him. How could I? The prince sees me as a commoner, a common maid. That is how he sees me. How have I been? Life has been terrible since you left. I can imagine. Considering the fact that you are getting married. The news is everywhere. Our prince, Ogudiniru, is getting married to Princess Kiria of Uruizian Kingdom. It's not that easy. I'm equally planning my marriage with the Kenneth. Oh, oh yeah, that's... I... I didn't know you loved him that much. Well... There are many things you don't know about me. Just like there are lots of things I don't know about you. I, I guess that's because we're just doing deals. Yes. Because we're just doing deals. Why are you here?
Well, I am... I came to know how you're doing. And it is very obvious to me that you are doing very fine. And also preparing to get married to the love of your life. So I wish you good luck. Seeing a wife on her wedding day could bring bad luck, you know. My father taught me that. Not exactly true. I only came to tell you again that I love you so much. I sometimes I love you too. What? Did you just call me Asanta? No. Did you just... Do you love her? Do you love her? No, no, I, no, no. It, it, it was a slip of tongue. I, I, I didn't mean it that way. Kira, listen to me. I... It took you time to think it through, right? Kira. Kira, it's not what you think. 